Hi guys, and welcome to the N1 Platinum Show. I am your humble host, and today we're going to be opening up a Duelist Alliance Deluxe Edition box. Make sure to check out, check out my Patreon account, and if you found this video, make sure to check out my channel, uh, favorite my videos, and subscribe. I really like these boxes because they... You usually, like, it's, they're 30 bucks a piece, and you usually get your money back when you get one of these boxes, at least with this set. Because there are several cards in this series that are worth, you know, $20 or more. Several. Like Sinister Shadow Games, Deneb, Pendulum Dragon, Ultimate, like, Secret. And Dante... But, I mean, I opened up an entire case and I didn't get a single Dante. I got one Yangzing Path, but that's nowhere near worth as much. Wow, this box is stubborn. Come on. Almost got it, guys. Oh, wow. These boxes are ridiculous. Almost got it. This is like the thickest plastic I've run against. I'm going to have to do this. Take this off. Come on, guys. <laughs> Man versus box. Oh, wow. This is ridiculous. Come on. I'm going to have to pull out the big guns for this. I'm going to have to get my key. <laughs> you ever... You ever think about restarting a video while it's going? <laughs> okay, let's see if I can do it now. I got my keys. I mean, if you get, you know, if you're a video creator, you can probably understand some of the things that go on here. This is ridiculous. Onward and forward. Oh. This. Is the thickest plastic I have ever encountered with any kind of. It didn't go through! Come <laughs> on. This is insane! Wow! You see that? That, my friends was the king of all plastic things for a box or anything. I wonder if it's an omen. There's going to be a card that's extremely valuable in here. Wouldn't that be amazing? Okay, I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of these things opened. A lot of crappy cards in here. I do like Shadal Hound, but we don't need to open it today. Okay, let's see what we get from these nine packs. Okay. Vega, cool. Face off rare. Lancia, no good. Next pack. Panzer Dragon, cool. No hollow. Uh, I have opened up one of these before and gotten, I think, one hollow. It stunk really bad. Okay, our rare is Flash Knight. Ooh, and uh, Kaiza the Mega Monarch. I actually. Let's zoom in on that. I actually haven't gotten that card yet, because I, I got a case and I didn't get this card, so that's pretty sweet. Um, I guess I'll put... Yeah, I'll just put them on top of the cool commons. Pretty sweet. Okay, so secret so far is a pretty epic pull. Like, not the best card, but pretty nice. Oh, Dragon Horn Hunter. Cool, and I guess this is the rare Benki. Hmm. Dragonhorn Hunter is a really cool card. Uh, I can see that going on custom play mats in the near future. 
hoping I get the value back in this box because so far these cards really aren't offsetting the price that much. Perform Pal Whip Snake, no hollow. <laughs> Three packs to go. Let's see if we can get that next awesome card. Okay, uh, Mellow Branch of the Burning Abyss. Doomstar Magician, now a lot of people, it's pretty epic, it's ultra. A lot of people think that this card is going to shoot up to like $10 or more in price. Just because of its effect, if you read here, once per turn you can discard one card, then target one card, neither player is Pendulum Zone, destroy that card. If you do draw one card, if you played this with it being a spellcaster in something like a Shadal deck when Pendulum Summons around, it's going to keep Shadal's competitive despite Quill Ports. Because that's going to set off Falcon or uh, Squamata or anything like that. So it's actually going to be a very epic card, just not right now. But I'm pretty sure he's going to be hit to limited, and then Shadals won't be a uh, quote-unquote tier 1 deck anymore. <laughs> Which is ridiculous. Okay, cool. Another uh, Satellar Knight. Let's see if we get another hollow out of this next pack. Doll Hedgehog. Okay, uh, Skarm, Malabranch of the Burning Abyss. Nothing. Okay, last pack. Hopefully, this is something cool. Chances are, it just might be. Turn Toad. Nothing. Honestly, this is a disappointing box. This may be probably the worst box I've ever opened when it comes to value. Because what we got is a Doomstar Magician, Dragon Horn Hunter, Ryza the Mega Monarch, that could have been a Dante, uh, and then the two Satellar Knight cards. So we basically, we got, ooh, one of each. We got a, ro we got a Secret, we got an Ultra, and a Super. And then, now the Rares... A lot of people wonder, you know, how many um, Burning Abyss monsters you'd actually pull in a booster box. Now, I could tell you from my case, I got like four play sets of all of the monsters. I, I got no Dantes, but I did get 16 to 20 actual Burning Abyss monsters. You see, just out of this container, we got these two here. And that's only, basically, this is half a booster box, a little less. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. This has been the And One Platinum Show. Make sure to check out my channel, like my videos, favorite them, and subscribe. Oh yeah, you guys have a good one.